We need that in letter form. My company gets a payoff request from a title company. One of our clients has a $1,500 lien on a piece of property. The owner of the property, who also owes the $1,500, is trying to sell. So the title company emails me asking for the payoff amount and other info. I respond to the email answering all their questions. I get an email back saying they need that information in letter form. I ask if they are serious. They say yes. They also say they need it immediately because closing is scheduled Monday. This is a Friday. So I print the email chain and write a letter that says, Enclosed please find email chain with the information requested. I dutifully put it in a properly addressed envelope and toss it in outgoing mail. Sadly that was after mail cut off so it was not going out until Monday. Monday I get an email from the title company where their payoff info is. I explain the above, they ask if I can email it to them. Nope I did that already. Not my fault if that was not good enough for you. Guess you won't close for another 5 days or so. Then a call from the guy's attorney asking me where the payoff is. I explain the above to him and remind him he was copied on the emails in question. He called the title company and blew them out of the water. We got our $1,500 the day by personal courier. It was a two hours one way drive for the courier. Person shrugging. Edit. Ideal W leans hundreds of times a year. They are always done via email. There is abundant law in my state that says the email is a legally binding contract. So the email is sufficient and industry standard. I worked in contracting for the US Govet. A firm would mail in their offer though we would accept a faxed offer which was often as they had. To ensure it arrived by bid closing time. After negotiations we would fax, email them the changes. Usually a one or two page modification form for them to sign. Once they returned it, by fax, we'd sign it and fax back and a contract would exist. A mailed clean copy would also be sent for the file. About 10 years before I retired we had electronic signatures so we'd simply email back the contract and or modifications. They'd review, e-sign, email to us and we'd e-sign and email back I think we stopped mailing in the final stage as all can. Just print out the contract with the signed agreement page. If the Govet can do this with million dollar contracts I'm sure a lean firm can do this for $1,500. This is a lean mean malicious compliance story. Well done. My reply will be, please send us your request in writing. And then wait. The sinister way you say it was a one-way drive for the courier is a little alarming. Title companies always need something until they can't get it. Then they suddenly don't really need it. My office prepared a POA for a real estate purchase because our client would be out of the country. During closing, he gave the POA to the title company before he left town. About a week before closing. The day of closing the title company called our office because they needed a change to the POA and wanted us to change it have our client resign and fax it back. We explained he was out of the country in a remote area, with no fax, no notary, and this was not going to happen. The title company said they didn't really need it after all, and held the closing as plan. If our client wasn't completely out of reach, he would have incurred a large bill for our time to drop everything and get this change made. I wonder how many hundreds and thousands of dollars people spend unnecessarily because the title company needs something. Whoa, someone at that title company had their butt in a sling after that. A two-hour one-way courier is not cheap. Absolutely brilliant malicious compliance. Hands clapping. I just don't understand why they couldn't just read your previous emails for the info. Like, 
If they were at the point where they're asking for you to send it in email form, surely they could just read your previous emails? Title people and realtors are built different. I would have sent a letter requesting that they send their information request by letter. Title companies are increasingly sounding entitled and or scammy as hell. Maybe, they were looking for a PDF copy of the letter. Seems that a letter, emailed back would have solved all this without screwing the buyer. A lot of you don't work in a professional setting and it shows. This should go in AITA, and the answer is yes, you are. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.